Emica was founded in 1944. The purpose was to solve a problem for the U.S. Navy. The Navy needed chairs for ships and submarines. They needed chairs that were lightweight so the ships wouldn't roll. They needed chairs that were non-corrosive for the salt air. And most of all, they needed chairs that were strong so the big burly sailors wouldn't completely destroy them. So the result was a team of scientists and engineers and chemists that took this incredible material and were able to develop a process and a craft to make these chairs. The design of the 1006 Navy chair is the same as what we started with. Uh, the processes are all the same. Here at Emico, we do everything uh, by hand. We're very proud of that and we take pride in the quality that we can produce from our craftsmen. We probably produce 100 chairs a day on average. One chair would probably take us about um, four hours to go through the whole process. When we produce the Navy chair, all of the material comes in in flat sheets or tube material. We use recycled aluminum in every chair that we do. We're very conscientious about the environment. In our Department 1, we form and we cut the pieces into the different parts of the chair. Then they go over to our grinding department to take off any of the rough edges. And then the next step would be they go to our welding department. There the welders piece the chair together and then it goes to our buzz and burr area where they grind off the welds and make them nice and smooth so it looks like a cohesive chair. Some of the welds we like to keep intact so it gives it the handmade look and the quality that people expect. What I love most about the chair is all the handwork. And if you look at a chair really closely, you can see where a craftsman has worked. Some press harder, some easier. Where their welds are, they turn out differently. So every chair is slightly unique. And that, that handwork is what is significant. The thing that is so amazing is all the invisible things that you don't see. One of those happens to be the heat treating process. The heat treat process actually combines the molecules of the aluminum and makes them stronger so that it goes into the oven overnight and seals together. And then that's what makes it bulletproof and able to be indestructible. It's an elaborate, unique 77 step process. The craftsmen, they not only take pride in, in their work, but they pass it down to the next generation. And the idea of taking waste material, scrap aluminum, to make something that people can keep and pass down, that, that to me has always been a philosophy that we live by every day. The Emico Navy Chair has been around forever. I think the reason why it has stayed around so long is because it has traditional characteristics and it lasts from generation to generation. So it's like a timeless design with a sturdy structure that will outlast any of its owners.